This video brought to you by National Free Flight Society Youth Development Program is bending a uh, wire hook and some O2O inch wire for a Science Olympiad helicopter. I'm going to use narrow jaw pliers and each bend is going to happen um, at one quarter of an inch depth in the pliers and at that depth the pliers are three thirty seconds of an inch wide wide meaning this way the jaws of the pliers so that will create a bend that is one eighth of an inch on each side so you see what i'm shooting for i actually draw a diagram like this and the diagram is um, uh, true to size so that as i make each bend i can lay it on the diagram and see if i'm pretty accurate so the first bend that I'm pointing at right here is going to be shallower than 90 degrees, like 130 some odd, so that the point of the hook where the O-ring um, is going to rest will also be a slightly acute angle. That keeps the O-ring uh, resting on the point of the hook a little better. And this bend um, at the top of the diamond is going to be roughly 90 degrees. And this one is just whatever it needs to be to put the remaining wire roughly parallel to the shaft. So you can see I leave a little extra wire here so that the O-ring starts to climb off the hook, um, which it does sometimes if the winding is uneven. It's not, it has a little bit of wire here um, before it's going to completely fall off the hook. So the first bend happens at just a hair above a half an inch down the piece of wire. So, like that. So I'm gonna actually measure it from the edge of the plier jaws. I guess I would call it uh, 17, 30 seconds of an inch. So it's just barely over a half inch. And accuracy matters. So we'll get that pretty accurate. A little, little more than that. Okay, so I'm going to press my finger against the plier jaws so I get a clean bend, and I'm shooting for about 135 degrees. I'll lay it on my diagram, and I'll see that I have the bend that I'm looking for. All right, so the next bend would be grabbing with the pliers about a quarter of an inch from the tip where it's about three thirty seconds of an inch uh, the jaws wide and I'm just going to bend a another roughly 135 degree angle and you can see now I have two bends two bends and I'm going to hold it up to the diagram and I'm going to see that it's pretty true not too bad and then the third bend I'm going to grab just beyond a quarter of an inch into the jaws because I'm going to make this bend in two stages. Because this is an acute angle, there are some cheaper wires that will break if you if uh, you bend them at an acute angle. So I'm going to bend it part of the way, like that, and then I'm going to move the pliers so that I'm going to um, back to a quarter of an inch, wires a quarter of an inch into the jaws so that I will create a slightly rounded end. So the remainder of the bend is going to be done with the plier jaws not quite all the way to the end. There's the third bend. Hold it up to the diagram. Looks good. This is what it looks like at that point. Alright, so you can see also the height of this hook top of the diamond to the bottom of the diamond is 3 sixteenths of an inch. The sides are 1 eighth of an inch. To get a 1 eighth inch side, remember the, the width of my plier jaws when I have the wire a quarter of an inch deep into the jaws is actually 3 30 seconds. And then of course since the wire is 020, you end up with roughly a 1 eighth inch depth. Um, or 1 eighth, 1 eighth inch sides. So the last bend is this one, and you can see I just get it on the plier jaws, and I'm going to bend it slightly 
into the shaft wire so that the uh, slightly angled towards the shaft so that it's less likely that the um, o-ring will try to climb the hook and that's a diamond shaped hook pretty simple huh and if you're slightly cockeyed which you can see I'm slightly cockeyed the bends weren't perfect so I'm going to grab the hook where I can stabilize the part I don't want to bend just give it a couple of pinches and that came pretty close to straightening the hook up a couple more pinches and now the now the hook is very symmetrical and that's a diamond shaped hook pretty simple